You're watching Fringe TV. Why do you guys do what you do? Uh, because we love it, I suppose. I mean, we certainly don't do it for the money. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I really, I mean, it really, I, I've always wanted to be a, an actor and a director and work in theater and create things. It's what I, so it makes me happy. It's what, it's, and I feel like it's my way of affecting the world in a, in a positive way, uh, which seems to be the reason that I'm here, because otherwise I don't know, you know, what would be the point, really. How does it affect people, acting, theater? I think theater has a unique capacity to affect people as individuals because of its liveness, it, because of the connection that you have uh, with the audience and your ability to really make contact with individuals in the audience in a way that film, no offense, uh, maybe doesn't, or maybe it does. Um, it's, a different kind of thing. it's a different thing. It's a very different thing. And there's a certain amount of electricity that happens in the theater because you've got eye contact and you're ha you have breath and you're in the same space at the same time, which is a very special thing. And I think there's something very powerful that you can take a room full of 100 to 1500 people and with one gesture or one note or one word of text move that collective group um, with just that moment, whether it's to think about something they haven't thought about before, whether you move them emotionally, whether you make them laugh. There's something extremely powerful about being able to have that gift to do while communicating something important. Have you always felt like you wanted to be actors? Uh, yes. <laughs> I kind of did ever since I, middle school, you know, being in school plays, I kind of knew it was what I wanted to do. I, I'm now doing both acting and directing, uh, which I didn't originally ever imagine that I would want to be a director, but I actually enjoy that as well. But yeah, there's no question that, or just be in the theater, just sort of always something that I wanted to do. Yeah. I was actually going to go to school to be a veterinarian, so um, <laughs> it wasn't in the initial cards and got rid of that idea very quickly upon getting accepted to undergrad and switched immediately into theater and dance and stayed with it. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for roles? Mm -hmm. Various <laughs> roles. Role. I mean, every role is different. Uh, you know, this, working on this particular show, we do a lot of um, physical warm-up because it's going to be a very physical show. And we do a lot of group warming up with each other to sort of get into the same sort of energy space with each other. and and be with each other in the space to be able to find the things we need to find because it's so collaborative. Um, and I think too it has a lot to do with process. You know, there's a very different process for each director and each project. Mm -hmm. This one, um, you know, we've been dealing a lot with finding the marriage of body and breath and movement and text and a less what people might consider traditional approach to acting in theater. Um, which has been great for me because that's been most of my experience professionally and training has been working with um, artists who are quite well known in the industry for working in that way, such as Jane Comfort and Anne Bogart. So it's great. I'm new to Philly. It's been great to find Gas and Electric Arts and find that there's somebody here that's doing this. And although in the community here it seems very different, you know, it's actually not really very different to what a lot of major people are doing in the industry and in places like New York City. And I think it's important just to find the layer of physical language in addition to the text and to find the character's breath and movement and eyes um, in addition to what the playwright has written. Mm -hmm. How important is it, do you feel, that to add your own personal personality uh, to roles that you accept? Not that important. <laughs> I think it's inevitable. I mean, it's it's not like it's important or not important in a way. I mean, it just, you can't, I can't do this a role the same way somebody else does a role. And in this particular show, which we are truly creating with a script, but we're creating these characters physically, emotionally, whatever, with the help of, of Lisa Joe, the director, it, it's inevitable that it's going to, that we're going to bring ourselves to it because we are who we are. Of course we bring ourselves to it, but also I think with a lot of the work that we do in this company, 
um, finding these gestures kind of forces us to overcome the person, what, which you mentioned as a personality. It forces mm -hmm. us to really ground the character in our bodies rather than our daily habits, our everyday habits that read as our personality. So we really try to come over that. Save this, your... <laughs> oh! <laughs> the director is telling me that you just I just out to drive. So. <laughs> uh, this is my third show with Gas and Electric Arts, and I enjoy working with Lisa Joe. And the um, uh, the language that that she uses resonates with other work that I have done in the past with clowning, and with, uh, I've worked with the. Brazilian company called Lumi in Brazil, and there's a lot of um, Grotowski and Buteau work that comes into this work, where it's responding through gesture and through breath to uh, to words, to other members of the cast, responding to the audience. So it's a lot of impulse. So we're trying to get rid of that personality so that we can really follow impulses physically and emotionally. If you weren't an actor, what would you be? I don't know. Uh, I would um, brew beer for a living. <laughs> or I would be a chef. Okay. I'd work in my garden, I guess. That's what I say I always want to do. Be a farmer. <laughs> I'd probably be, well, I mean, I also direct and teach, um, so that would be, I guess, choice B, although I'm already doing it. I, I'm fascinated with what design, theater designers do, particularly lighting designers. So I have a feeling that I would, I would probably go the design route, if not the performance directing route. Any words of advice for young actors trying to make it in this crazy business? Don't do it! No, just kidding. <laughs> That's sort of the stock Stay answer. with it! <laughs> Stay with it! Become a bank teller! No. Um, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. On whatever capacity you can do it. Stay involved. Stay in it. And I think you need to keep yourself open to the possibilities. Um, I think the problem that many artists have is we, we in the world has a preconceived notion of what it means to be an actor, a director, this or that in the business. And I think if you keep yourself open to the many kind of veins and arteries that this wonderful lifestyle and career has, you'll be much happier and find yourself working a lot more. Okay. And who are you guys and where can we see you next? Uh, my name is Seth Reichgott and I I've worked a bunch around here in Philly for the last five or six years. Seeing me next would be this show, and then after that I'm actually going to be doing more directing for the next several months um, at a company in KMA called KMA Stage, and for a company in Connecticut. So I'm not sure where I'm going to be seen next. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I'm Vivian Appler, and after this show, I, I also teach in the area. I teach at Temple, and I teach at Penn State Abington. And right after this show, you will be seeing, some people may be seeing me at my wedding. Yay! <laughs> and I'm Joseph Rich, and this is actually my Philadelphia theater premiere. I've just moved to the Philly area from New York City um, this past year and a half. And um, I am going to be seen not only uh, through a benefit for Gas and Electric Arts, but around the country and the world. I have a one woman show that I've been touring for about five years now and continue to tour. Um, it's a fictitious character named Sunrise, who's a loving spoof of the musical theater world. And we're doing a benefit on Sunday, September 9th for Gas and Electric Arts, and then um, you can catch me across the country and on cruise ships and all sorts of things. All right, wonderful, guys. Thanks for being on the show, and uh, break a leg. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you.